Ready, play. Bastian's feet has led to this corner. Mantel takes it on and flicks low and hard and into the net. And Richard Mantel has given Reading the lead here. Not necessarily one of his better ones, but uh, plenty of power on it. It's gone through the goalkeeper a little bit, really. But one minute not sure go. Richard got hold of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not sure. And replay, a little wide, and I thought. And it's come off the defender on the line there, Bastian Dirkins, and into the back of the net. So first blood for Reading. Good approach work by uh, Leal, and very close there to the equaliser. That was uh, you what Alexis I mean? Fourquart throwing himself at the ball. <laughs> just passing wide. Really good effort, that. Bailey again going low. Fourquart got to the ball, but couldn't direct the ball on target. Richard Mantel shoots, and Richard Mantel scores. And Reading take a giant leap towards the knockout 16. Reading fans on their feet over there. Richard Mantel again. Again, great power. It was always going away from the goalkeeper who did his level best to get across. But when Richard Mantel's on this sort of uh, form, it's very hard to uh, resist it. So another big uh, contribution from Richard Mantel. Reading have won it again. They've got the numbers here. Springham leaves a, a Leal player on the deck in his wake. Look at the space here. They're going to walk it in. They're going to walk it in. That's the game. Carson with the final touch. A little uh, series of passes with John T. Clark. Really well worked. Reading are home and host. And in the knockout 16. I love Tom Carson. Don't think Fred Soyer does. He doesn't love the umpires too much either. Reading uh, celebrate, or at least those with any energy left will celebrate a handshake there from Richard Mantel to the uh, umpire. And uh, Tom Carson there, the other goal scorer. And uh, convincing enough victory there for Reading, who found their form just in the nick of time, and they've proved to be too strong today for the, uh, the gallant and uh, generous hosts of Lille.